welcome back to the gang's YouTube channel. Yeah. Ooh, I feel like doing a dance today. Today's been a weird day. I'm in a dancey mood and I'm in a new location. So to those of you that are wondering, Nikki, where the heck are you? If you follow my vlog channel, then you already know where I am. Um, but this is going to be my new office. And more specifically, it is going to be the offices for the gang. So I'm pretty excited because I'm in the process right now, setting everything up. I've got the whole office all mapped out, all planned out. So I am gonna do, besides a house tour on my main channel, I am gonna do an office tour on my main channel once this is up. But I literally wanna make it like a gang office like I'm picking all the colors out everything is gonna match it's gonna be really cool if you're wanting to see more you will get an official tour if you're interested very soon in life I'm gonna hop right into today's video so I've been dealing with this insecurity for the longest time and I have no idea what to do about it my boyfriend is nine years older than me and has had an active sex life including one night stands and all that jazz I on the other hand am a virgin so I definitely want to have sex with him but I don't know. I just don't feel like I would be good enough for him. He definitely doesn't make me feel like I'm not good enough for him, but I do. Um, plus it's my first time and I want it to mean more than just sex to him. Am I just overthinking? It'd be great if you could help me with this. I've been struggling with it a lot. So here's my thoughts. I have said this before about dating and standards in dating and how you feel about things. So I'll just spit it out once again if you want to hear it again or haven't heard it at all. In my opinion, if you believe in marriage, if you wanna get married, dating is for the purposes of leading to marriage. So things that you don't like, things that you're not okay tolerating, things that you're worried about, there really isn't a question of like, am I being crazy? Should I let this go? Should I stop? It's really a matter of what you want and what you're willing to tolerate. You don't just have to settle, not that you're settling, but like have to just take whatever's in front of you. Like if there's something that is upsetting you, you don't have to talk yourself out of being upset or be like, oh, I should make myself change my mind. No, you, you shouldn't. You're allowed to have the standards you want to have. That's the purpose of dating is to find the right person for you to pair up with. Like, here's the thing. If I put myself in your shoes, I would also feel the same way. I would feel bothered. I would feel like, oh, he's got all this experience. And like, what does our, if we have sex, what does that even mean to him? Because he's had all this other sex. And I get what you're saying. Now I will say on the other side of the fence that there are people, you know, who have had you know, multiple sexual partners who will say that just because they've had multiple sexual partners doesn't mean that like they're necessarily, how do you word this? Like comparing you to those people or that they don't love you. Like they, they love you. They don't think about those people. And I actually probably agree with them because I'm not in their shoes. I don't know. I've had one sexual partner. I think it's whatever you want. And I think that is the bottom line that you need to sit down and think about is what do I want? Am I, do I want someone who's had multiple sexual partners? Like, or really the question is like, am I really okay with that? And if deep down inside, you're really not okay with it, I don't think that you have to convince yourself to change your stance to match with this person. If you sit down and you're like, am I okay? Or do I want someone who's had multiple sexual partners, specifically him? And you're like, you know what? I am okay with it. I'm just worried about not matching up. Um, and really, once again, it comes down to you thinking about what you want, because let's say you thought about it and you're okay with it, but maybe you're like me and you want to wait to have sex till you're married. I, I think you need to honor what you want. Let's say that that was the scenario I'm making up and you went to him and you were like, Hey, it does bother me, but I'm realizing that that was your past. Cause it is his past. He can't go back and change it. Even if he regrets it or wants to, what's done is done. Um, I can't change you, but I need you to know that I want to wait to have sex until I'm married. And if he's okay with that and you really are okay letting go of the past and you just love him and maybe you're just irked and obsessing over the past that can't be changed and whatever, then you can let it go and move on with your game plan. I think it's important because you don't know if you'll end up with this person forever or not. I think it's important that you honor and respect the boundaries and the things that you want in your life and do not sacrifice them for someone who is a boyfriend, if that makes sense. And I know some people don't believe in marriage, so it's like a boyfriend is the ultimate thing. But to me, in my head, I do believe in marriage and I think that boyfriend, girlfriend things can be kind of 
they can be temporary. You can break up and you could break up with a marriage too. But once again, this is just all in the realm of my head of like a marriage being forever. I think that it's important that up until the day you get married and even after you get married, I'm like double talking myself, but especially leading up to it, it's like you need to value what you what you want. So um, I hope any of that made any sense. I was literally about to start over and repeat myself all over again. But I guess the moral of the story is sit down, think about what you want. If you're just obsessing over his past, then decide whether you're okay with letting that go. And if you are okay with letting it go and you're like, I want to wait till I have sex, want to wait till I have sex, till I'm married, sorry, tongue tied. He's chill with doing that, with waiting for you. Um, and you are like, I want to be with him. I don't care about his past. Then the thing will be is you will have to let it go. So I still feel like I blabbered a lot, but I hope that that was helpful. I love you and I appreciate you. All of you that have come over to this channel, your support means so much. We have so many exciting things planned in the next six months and I can't wait to share it all with you guys and to involve you guys. You, everybody watching these videos, I consider you like part of our core group because we're just kind of getting started with everything and I'm just excited for the future. And for the gang offices that are happening in my house that I'm gonna tour to you guys eventually. So if you have any questions for us, send them to askgangmagazine at gmail.com. Don't forget to please click here to subscribe to our channel if you are not already and I will see you next Saturday, okay. Bye guys.